everyone, welcome to LFH Inspired TV. I want to thank you all for subscribing. For those who haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel, like, share, comment, tell a friend to tell a friend. <laughs> you know, tonight I want to talk about judging people and judging others wrongfully. You know, Sometimes we tend to judge people based on how they look, what they wear, how they dress. Even current and past situations we, we, we tend to judge. But we should never draw our own conclusion without really understanding or getting the full facts of a situation. And I just want to share a video with you by Jay Shetty. He's right off this video. I'm going to share a prime example of when you judge someone or a situation without really getting the full understanding of the full facts of what has taken place. Watch. A man was waiting at an airport for a long distance flight. His flight was delayed and so he had a little spare time. He saw a deal on some cookies and thought he should treat himself. He bought quite a few cookies because he thought it might be quite a long delay. He took a seat near a man and started to read the magazine he also picked up earlier. He exchanged a glance with the other man and then tried to avoid eye contact as he went back to reading. While he was engrossed in his magazine, he happened to see that the man sitting beside him boldly grabbed a cookie from the container. He initially ignored the incident to avoid a scene. He grabbed a cookie himself and went back to his magazine. But the man seemed to have enjoyed the cookie so much, he took another one and started eating it too. This continued for a while and with each passing moment, he began to get more and more irritated. Every time he took a cookie, so did the other man. When the last cookie was left, the man nervously took that cookie and broke it in half. He offered the other to the man and smiled. The man took the cookie and could not believe the other man's nerve. He was thinking in his head, how ungrateful could that man be? The other man then left and took the container with him. This guy couldn't believe what had just happened. He was relieved when his flight was called he gathered his belongings. As he lifted his bag, he saw that there was a full container of cookies right there. He was totally shocked, totally surprised. It caught him off guard. He thought to himself, if my cookies are here, then wait, those cookies were his. The other man had shared his cookies whilst he was thinking he was the one doing the sharing. Whilst he was angry and irritated, the other man was being generous and kind. He felt so bad for what had happened, but he couldn't find the other man anywhere and didn't know how to apologize. Things are not always as they appear. Sometimes we make quick assumptions about people, circumstances and situations. We judge them, label them and put them into a box not recognizing that there is a much bigger picture. Sometimes we meet someone in a particular state, stage or phase of their life and stereotype them to be a certain way. Don't be so quick to judge. You never know when you might find yourself walking in someone else's shoes. And remember, the best apology is changed behavior. I hope you all have been inspired by this video written by Jay Shetty. And remember, before judging someone or a situation, 
make sure to ask questions getting all the facts before making your own assumption LFA to Inspire TV peace Joke of the day. An atheist was seated next to a little girl on an airplane, and he turned to her and said, Do you want to talk? Flights go quicker if you strike up a conversation with your fellow passengers. The little girl, who had just started to read her book, replied to the total stranger, What would you like to talk about? Oh, I don't know, said the atheist. How about why there is no God, or no heaven or hell, or no life after death? As he smiled smugly. Okay, she said. Those could be interesting topics, but let me ask you a question first. A horse, a cow, and a deer all eat the same stuff, grass. Yet a deer excretes little pellets while a cow turns out a flat patty, but a horse produces clumps. Why do you suppose that? The atheist, visibly surprised by the little girl's intelligence, thinks about it and says, Hmm, I have no idea. To which the little girl replies, Do you really feel qualified to discuss God, heaven, and hell, or life after death, when you don't know shit?